Hey guys, right here and welcome to Mafia 3 again. Yeah, we gotta talk to Sammy and see if we can get a taste of the action. <laughs> Look who I found panhandling out in front of the train station. Pleasure, man. Boy, I send you to bring Link on Clayhorn. Not the bad him. Well, shit, old man. I finally went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. I always <laughs> did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so, so proud of you. Paul Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. Paul Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. <laughs> So good. <laughs> <laughs> nice seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation, fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of it. And then, one day, a door opens, and you're free to go, just like that. The thing is, you made your peace with your terror and your fear of death. And now part of you is afraid to leave it behind. But what choice do you have? Every soldier has to walk through that door. One way or another. Man, <laughs> whiskey's going hoy in the morning. Hell, man, just sleep it off. The room's the same as he left it. I'm gonna take the basement. <laughs> the basement? Why the fuck you wanna crash down there? I'll see you in the morning. Man, that wall must have really fucked you up. Let's go to bed then. These like collectibles, like seems like it. All right, let's head upstairs and talk to Sammy and Alice. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to Boy, I'm not eyes. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? 
We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, truck's all loaded up. I figure we got enough out there for... Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. All right. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. We're gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. For the color. Where? It'll be good for you to reconnect with the community. These folks missed you. That's where he goes. Gumbo's not gonna serve itself. All right. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Warm meal, warm heart, full shot. Thanks. How's your day been? You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessing's mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Sounds fun. Trouble. Once we're done with you, Lincoln. Sammy's next. I got a problem for a triangle. Interesting. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. 
Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. You know, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. With this thing with the Haitians, it's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow. Track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is people killing each other. Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite hostilité. All right. Little. Oh, I thought. Seek and destroy. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're going to expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Try this quietly. Uh, I want this going to. after Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow. All right. We'll see. Get a shot. Sammy, we doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Him, Ellis, and the other one. Papa Legba, open the gate for me. Atibon Legba, open the gate. Hey, turn around, pistol. He might notice me if I take out this guy. I got a little hasty of that. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
right there. Rifle. Should have killed that old man a long time ago. He's lying. Hold Take left. the boss was worried Sammy and Bob Makano. Ask him to come down on us. That asshole don't give a shit about some worn out. Long as the money's coming in, Makano don't care who's handing it to him. Shotgun guessing and a pistol dude. I think you need a whistle. I got there. Turn around and whistle on the way to the deck here. I heard something I don't like. But you should come over here, anyways. That's late. And destroy. Bodies. There, guys, it's an old patrol. you guys up there on the hill. Oh, oh, oh. 
I think they're silent. I heard something odd. Where'd you go, Frey? Huh? I'll bring his dumb ass back. He can't hide from me. Huh? God! So something no. suspicious. Watch out! You got to check this shit out! Did I go both of them? Combat though. I wonder where he is. Maybe not use all my pistol ammo for this. Going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sit here. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for new. Comes next, and goodbye.